around a boomerang like Lou can throw around a boomerang. Let's check with him now to see how he learned to participate in this very exciting sport. Randy, you are too kind. I came out here yesterday morning practicing and lost two boomerangs in a row, so I'm not that great. This guy is, he is Gary Broadband. He's from Lakewood, Ohio, 24 years old, second rank in the United States of America. Not too bad. He's been throwing the boomerang for about 10 years now. Gary, before we do our interview, why don't you show off and throw one out there sure. and show the folks what you can do. <laughs> Away it goes. It's coming back. Not Can't bad, right on right target, on just <laughs> like a pro. Now, that was pretty fantastic. Can you do that just about every time you throw the boomerang? Yeah, you know, you're fighting with Mother Nature, yeah. so the winds have a lot to do with it. Um, but this sport is, is just excellent. I love it, and uh, it's an awful lot of fun being able to throw and catch boomerangs. Lots of people think the old Aborigines in Australia, they use these things as weapons. Is that not the case? No, not at all. See, the boomerang has been misportrayed. Uh, the boomerang is the first original flying toy, and it's estimated at 14,000 years old. Uh, if you think about it, you're the target, why would you want a weapon to come back to you? Uh, boomerangs only weigh two to five ounces. Uh, they, they can't hurt you. Uh, they can if you misuse them, but once you learn what you're doing, it's real easy. Now, what was used as a weapon was an aerodynamic baseball bat, which weighed two to four pounds. And the technical name is a Kylie. And that was thrown horizontally, whereas you can see, I throw the boomerang vertically, and uh, it's thrown just like a football or baseball, and comes through the air, right back, easy catch, all sorts of crazy ways. You were telling me the other day that boomerangs in this country now are even more popular than they are over in Australia. Absolutely. Uh, boomerangs are really growing in this sport. Uh, I'm a member of the United States Boomerang Association, and uh, it's really, it's really expanding. Uh, and uh, my saying is the boomerangs are coming back. All know? right, <laughs> they sure are. We shot some videotape as well the other day, which we can show you now. These are some of the great throws and catches of these people who are very good at the boomerang, what they're able to do. Gary, uh, let's walk up closer to the monitor here and uh, describe to the folks exactly what we're seeing. Great. A real windy day is what you're seeing here. <laughs> uh, it's hard when you have real strong winds to keep the boomerang to come right back to you like, it, uh, like today. Now, there's a behind-the-back catch, and uh, boomerangs are so much fun when thrown properly. you got to educate the public and promote the sport. All right. Oh. I noticed almost. all of you guys had something of a, of a fervor about the boomerang, showing it off, and you found a couple of young kids out here who were very happy and willing and able to demonstrate. You want to uh, kind of advance the future of the sport. That was a beautiful catch. catch right yeah. That's behind the back catch again. Now, uh, yeah, uh, th this sport isn't for little kids. Uh, you, you see, you got to have intellectual stamina to throw it. you got to understand why it didn't come back. Uh, it's, it's not for little kids. It's for uh, the young adults. And, uh, um, and you've, you've got to understand why it didn't work. That's what will... Uh, that's what'll make you great. All right, let's come back here live now and show off. Now, this I would imagine this is a Nerf uh, boomerang. This I would right. imagine would be good to give a kid to right. have him learn how now, to do it. Right. This is a foam right? rubber, real light, easy throwing boomerang. It, does, it goes out about 10 feet and comes right back. It's real easy, and it gives them all the basic principles to throwing and catching a boomerang. And this thing with the holes in it. What's the purpose of the holes? Well, that's for stronger winds. There's less lift, and uh, the boomerang is the most complicated flying instrument. So there's a lot of a lot of lift in a boomerang. It's airplane wings, and uh, uh, this causes a lot of drag and drops the boomerang in on strong windy days. All right, Gary, in the time we have left, only about a minute, maybe you could demonstrate uh, one or two more throws for us. How about that one where you actually sure. catch it with your feet? Great, I'll give it a shot. Good luck to you <laughs> on this one. I know this is tough. <laughs> and of course, if Gary misses this one, it could cause a serious injury <laughs> to his body. So let's see how Gary does. He oh! Almost, well, I almost. mean, that was right there. You want it to was try right that there, one, right more, there. Time? one, more, one time. more time? <laughs> Okay. Here it comes. I think he's got it in his sights. Oh! Gary, you know, through, uh, that, that was close <laughs> enough that, I, that I'm going to count it. I'm going to count that. It was so very close. Let me throw one. I've been bragging about how I can throw. I had a rough day yesterday, essentially because of the wind. Should I try on sure, this? Sure, you can give it a try. Okay, okay. this one requires this more spin. That's, a little that's more spin than I've been working with. A little more spin than the beginner ones. And a little right. bit of tilt in this direction. Right, a little okay. bit of tilt. Right towards the tree out there. 45 degrees to the right of the wind. Okay. okay. Keep your fingers crossed for me. And you'll help me catch it if oh, the deal. comes back. Right? Okay. <laughs> Now, all I right. got that up a little high, Not Gary, bad, not bad at all. But, but really, 
You Beautiful. caught it for me. I was about five yards away, so that's not bad. Congratulations, sir. You're an expert. All right. I am still kind of a novice. How long does it take, Gary? You throw about 300 throws a day. How long does it take to really become fairly proficient so that you're on a national level, international level, but before right. you can become pretty good? Well, no two boomerangs fly the same, and uh, I'm... I, it's a disease to me. Uh, I collect every kind of boomerang <laughs> there could possibly 700. be. 700. Yeah, 700 different kinds. And uh, uh, But people don't have to get into it like I do. Uh, with just one good boomerang, you can do uh, uh, five of the major events in boomerang competition. And uh, uh, then you get into doubling and juggling and maximum time aloft where you use more advanced boomerangs. But with just a little bit of practice uh, and with an instructor like myself, anybody can learn how to throw and catch a boomerang uh, as long as they can throw a baseball or football and and have a head between their shoulders they can they can understand it gary i know you like to talk about the boomerang we're out of time <laughs> okay. thank you very much and we'll have more of the thank morning you. exchange right after these announcements how about another throw for sure. us <laughs> all right right on the number. 